Do you like dogs? I do. I love dogs. Do you I, want to get I a love doggy? cats. I do, but they don't allow them here. Oh, really? No. What about pussy cats? No. I mean, I'm sure we could have one. You could sneak one in. You never know when some guy is going to come in and. Okay. So weird. All side town, no pets. I know. Well, I mean, I hear a dog up here like skittering. Right. But it so can people never have leave. them. It's yeah. It's in front of the cover of darkness. Under cover of darkness. It has <laughs> yeah. to be smuggled. Contraband. We got a costume for our pug for Halloween. Oh, you did? Yeah, we got him a, um, he's going to be a fire engine. So he has like a little fire engine hat and there's a little uh, stuffed animal that rides him. I interrupt him, sorry. Thank but you. In that, uh, we, we, we're rolling. Okay. Oh, we are. Oh, good. Okay. Um, hi there. My name is Kurt and welcome to iKurt. Okay, so we are going to liberate Fern. Tell me Fern about Fern. Fern is a huge celebrity in the Catskills. Yeah. She is uh, a deer. You know, we got a house two and a half years ago, and we went in the attic and our second night and saw this terrifying animal thing in the corner, and it turned out to be this gorgeous taxidermy deer head. Yeah. Uh, it's like a torso, right? Yeah, it's sort of, she's sort of like this and sort of like here, and we hung her on the wall of our dining Can room. Can you do that? Show me again. What's it like? Okay, so and she her. looks. I can't do her face, though, because it looks like she's posing for her senior picture in a way. Uh-huh. I mean, it's sort of the deer equivalent of like that, you know? Yeah. Everyone loves her. Even vegetarians love Fern. I've met Fern, and she is intoxicatingly beautiful, mm -hmm. smart, yep. witty. No, she's got a lot to say. I mean, she's in the attic for yeah. probably 50 years, but yeah. she's, you know. Fern lives in the moment. We should all look so good after 50 years in an attic. Where did you get the name Fern? Fern is named because our house was built on the side of a hotel called The Ferns that burned down in uh -huh. 19... 30-ish. So we call our house the Ferns, Yeah, and Fern is... Do you ever sense a, a little bit of sadness from Fern? You know, Fern has a compelling life story. I think that's why so many people relate to her, because she's really overcome adversity. Yeah, um, and she's I mean, she's a little like it. sort of a, you know, John McCain figure around like 1990 when he, you know, oh, he survived the, you know, Vietnam yeah. imprisonment and all that. Like, yeah. Fern's sort of like one of those survival stories, or Tina Turner. Fern is doing better in the polls than John McCain right now. I'm not surprised. Yeah. I mean, she's like Al Gore. Everyone yeah. wants her to yeah. run, but... That's fascinating. There's something that's coming up on witless.com about yes. Fern. Yes. No, we actually have footage of her removal from the attic, which was a really exciting day. <sighs> God, it must just be like Tutankhamun's tomb. It was, it was very much yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. <laughs> okay, th that's great. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. How is that? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs>